So here is my latest trap and it's for rats and mice. It's just like all the other traps that I've made and it's based on balance. It's just like my inch and a half ABS mouse trap or my four inch PVC squirrel trap or my all wood tilting squirrel trap. If you want to make any of these traps, it'll be right in the description below. And it's very easy to set. You just tip it back, flip the door open, put it on top of the pin. The animal goes inside, goes to the back. It drops down and then this paper clip right here won't allow the door to open and he's trapped inside. So this is really easy to make. So the main part of the body here is 16 inches long and it's 3 inch PVC pipe. It's easy to lift the trap up so you can clean it out or you can bait it. This piece here that it pivots on is just a piece of PVC pipe and it's 3 inches wide and all you do is cut out a quarter of the pipe and then glue a piece of the tubing from a ballpoint pen onto the back right in the center. Once you put this piece on you can move this back and forth in order to get the balance just perfect. The cap at the end here is just a 3 inch PVC cap. When you put this cap on don't use glue or anything. Just push it on. A resistance fit works perfectly. And at the front here this is a hinge I bought at Home Depot. And the door here is what's called a test cap. It's a four inch test cap and that way we've got enough room here to put the hinge on for the three inch pipe. And to attach the cap to the tube just place the tube on top of the cap making sure that it's flush with the cap. And then place your hinge on it and mark it with a pencil and pre-drill the holes. Now these screws here are smaller than the holes and the washer and the screw together gives it some play in order to be able to move it around and adjust it so that you can get it to close nice and flush with the pipe. Our mounts here where the trap pivots on is just paper clips and you can get these at the dollar store and they measure two inches long. And then all you do is take a pair of pliers and bend them. And this is the size of screw I use along with some small washers to mount them. Then once you get them on here with a washer they are fully adjustable so that you can dial it in to get the adjustment just perfect. Then at the front you just do the same thing. You bend paper clip here to catch the door and you bend a paper clip open to hold the door up. And these are fully adjustable also. And when you're balancing the trap just use five nickels as the weight of a mouse. And how do I know that a mouse weighs five nickels? And I found a really easy way to bait this. So just take one square of toilet paper and cut it into four. Then just take about that much on the end of your baby finger, put it in the center of one of the squares, and then just fold up all the corners together and give it a little bit of a squish. And there's your little bait pellet that you can drop into the bottom of the trap. And since this trap works on balance, make sure you use it on level ground. So when you come out in the morning and you see that the door is down, for sure there's a mouse in there. So just grab the trap and stand it on its end and have a peek inside. Well, I hope this video has helped. If it did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Hey, who is it? Get out of here.